The Black Sheep of the franchise still delivers a fun time. Directed by Peter R. Hunt, the sixth entry in the James Bond series was released in December of 1969 and would go on to earn more than nine times its $7 million budget. The 142-minute spy film sees the British secret agent romancing a mob boss's daughter while attempting to uncover the nefarious plans of his nemesis, Blofeld. Following Sean Connery's decision to retire from the role, producers Harry Stoltzman and Albert R. Broccoli cast an unknown actor and model for the lead role, George Lazenby. Selecting someone purely on appearance with no prior acting history to star in a multi-million dollar action film is an ambitious, almost foolhardy gamble. And while Lazenby isn't outright bad, he's just entirely forgettable. Oftentimes, the actor feels uncomfortable or unsure of himself, a far cry from the aggressive confidence Connery brought to the role. Looking the part simply isn't enough. He has to embody the charisma and personality of Ian Fleming's iconic character, and unfortunately, he doesn't. In an ill-advised attempt to poke fun at this casting switch, the cold open of the movie ends with Lazenby spiking the camera and remarking, this never happened to the other fellow. To date, it's the only time in the 50-year-old series that the fourth wall has been broken. Diana Rigg portrays his love interest, but is missing the same charisma and personality to be provocative or fascinating. Their relationship is simply too informal, with both parties seeming disinterested instead of infatuated. Which might be excusable if their courtship didn't suddenly end in holy matrimony by the picture's end. As one of many to play the role, Telly Savalas is better than most as the leader of Spectre, who has afforded the opportunity to be more physical and involved with the character than other actors. Although the use of projection screens and day-for-night photography dates the sequence, a downhill ski chase is particularly thrilling, as Bond weaves between trees and over jumps to escape pursuing enemies. The classic theme from Monty Norman is heard, without alteration, during an exciting takeover of a Swiss Alps hideout, but the sound is so famous and incorporated so superficially that it seems like a distracting afterthought. Especially since there's a great moment for Rig to dispatch a bad guy right on the ending crescendo of the song, but instead, the abrupt abbreviation feels like an editing mistake. And even though this music is often added without any dramatic timing in mind, John Barry's score is quite excellent, especially the titular number, a driving and aggressive orchestral theme heavy on horns and strings. It remains a quintessential anthem for the character and one of my all-time favorites from the series. The cinematography is decidedly simplistic, nothing showy or distracting, while the film's pacing, although slow, is appropriate for the tone of the picture and the era it was produced. The audio work, however, especially in regards to the dialogue, feels very clumsy, with several lines being the obvious result of poorly synchronized ADR. For a multitude of reasons, including poor reception from the public and tension with the producers, Lazenby opted not to reprise his role, and is the only actor to play the character only once. For his debut effort, OHMSS isn't terrible, and I'd certainly be curious to see what would have been had he stayed. A slower, more tragic Bond picture with a few great action sequences only make this a decent film, but it's the surprisingly downbeat ending that makes it worth seeing at least once. On Her Majesty's Secret Service strays too much from the familiar to be memorable or exciting. Now let's go to the YouTube reviews. Seems I'm in the minority, as most praise this film as an underrated gem, scoring it an 8 out of 10. Can't say I agree, so I'm scoring this an alright. That does it for this quick excerpt, but if you'd like to watch full episodes of Movie Night and submit your own reviews to be included on the show, please visit the Jogwheel YouTube channel. My name is Jonathan Paula, thanks for watching, and have a good movie night.